Version 6.8 adds a really cool flight simulation mode. Let me show you. We already have a route planned in somewhere in the mountains to make it a little more interesting. Tap on the down arrow, select start simulator. We'll just use the route that we have in there. We'll select 400 knots. And instead of entering starting altitude, ending altitude or whether we want to land. The, the, if, if we select land at Echo 79, what that'll do is just put us in a descent for Echo 79. Um, otherwise, we can select specific starting altitudes or ending altitudes. But this new option called low level, if we just select that, then obviously we don't need to enter the altitudes. It will just be flying low level. And let's tap on start. Now what will happen is Wing X will actually use its high resolution terrain database and essentially scud run although we probably shouldn't call it that for obvious reasons we obviously don't uh, condone scud running or recommend it for any reason uh, but the, what the low level flight simulation will give you is it'll give you a really good feel for the terrain you know instead of flying over this at uh, 12,000 feet the uh, you know the, the um, Synthetic vision will look pretty flat. And so what we do is we have this low level mode and it lets you essentially fly low level and give you a, a great feel for the terrain. Now, if you look ahead of you, you'll see the mountains are in red because we're flying down somewhat of a valley. If you look on the sectional, you'll see we're kind of in a valley with higher terrain in front of us. What we can do is we can offset the aircraft from the center to show you more of what's in front of you which is useful tap on settings turn off center aircraft and you'll notice that wing x now shows you more of what's in front of you which is obviously more useful than showing uh, what's behind you we can also select track up but all the while what wing x is doing is as we're flying over the sectional and we could be using an ifr in route as well WingX is calculating what the terrain below us would be and flying low level over that terrain, which is really nice. I've used it a few times flying into airports um, or simulating flying into airports, and it really gives you a, a much, much better idea of what you're going to be seeing uh, rather than just trying to look at the sectional, um, for example, or looking at the uh, synthetic vision without this low level option. Uh, I do just want to uh, kind of a little disclaimer here. The synthetic vision might look a little jumpy on the right-hand side. Normally, it updates uh, many, many times a second. Uh, it's jumpy like this simply because we have, uh, we're capturing the video. This is running on a desktop. We're capturing that video to put on YouTube. Um, and so it's doing a whole lot of calculations in the background, doing all that. But normally, it's, it's very smooth. Uh, the resolution and the quality on it's amazing, especially on the new iPad 2 and particularly the iPad 3 and on the iPhone 5 with, with the landscape, it's, uh, it's going to look amazing. So definitely, you know, if you're flying into, even if you're flying in, in uh, kind of low level areas like Florida, uh, you might want to use this to look at obstacles. Uh, if you're flying in the mountains, you want to use this to see what the terrain is. Hope you like it.